What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I got your PlayStation news baby. We're going to be talking about the PlayStation 5 and the release date. When is that going to happen? Woo! We're also going to be talking about some crazy subscription service and uh, some video games as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the entire thing. Please don't miss a single beat of this video. If you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to hit a like, comment down below, support your boy. If you guys are new, subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, there has been a lot of rumor and speculation about the PlayStation 5's release date within the past week or so. Now, there is a website claiming that they have sources, um, which it's it's a non uh, you know, a credible <laughs> website in itself, so I'm not even going to mention it, but they're saying December. Um, that's a really good guess because, you know, Sony did confirm that uh, the release date was going to happen, uh, holiday season 2020, um, but they have credible sources, which they don't list, so we're not going to use that. Scrap that completely. There is also an online retail store that sells video games that leaked the release date ahead of time, and that is uh, September. They have since taken it down, and I'm not going to leak that website either um, in the video description down below, because honestly, all they were doing is trying to get people over to their website. Trying to get people to talk about, oh man, they know the release date, let's head over to their website. Once they get you there, they're hoping that you buy some video games or something off of their website. No, we're not we're not going for that bull crap. Now keep in mind, there has been times where online retail stores like Walmart, GameStop, Target, even Amazon, and non like big corporations that sell video games, they have leaked stuff in the past and that they have been right. So I'm not gonna say that, you know any online leak is not real but this one in particular that one was just trying to get you over to the website um, and a lot of people I feel are dishonest with that information and a lot of people will just make videos or make articles of surrounding this information um, with no credible sources whatsoever so today instead of going over the mumbo jumbo of that uh, I just wanted to get that out of the way because some people were hitting me up and saying like, yo, Mikey Flop, is this real? What is going on with this? <laughs> so hopefully that answered your question. Now, I've had people in the past, um, credible um, sources, <laughs> people that work within PlayStation in the past tell me, um, you know, look at Sony's typical cycle when it comes to release dates and different things like that. And that is honestly true. We can look back at Sony's typical cycle for so many different things and see that they are used to doing something, you know, the same way over and over and over and over again. I mean, just look at the PlayStation console name, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, now 5. No big surprise there, right? We can look at uh, PlayStation Plus. It always releases the first Tuesday of every month. They always announce the PlayStation Plus Instant Game Collection the last Wednesday of every month. Those are Sony's typical cycles. So let's go over the release dates from previous consoles. PlayStation 3 released November 11, 2006. November 11, 2006. Okay, so the PlayStation 4 released November 15, 2013. Kind of see where I'm going here. Sony's typical cycle and looking back at previous launches of consoles, it is always happened pretty much in the middle of November, either the second or the third week of November, depending on how many days there are in the, the, the month. Um, well, how many weeks there are in the month, I should rephrase that. Um, so if we look at Sony's typical cycle and look at the PlayStation 3 releasing November 11, 2006, PlayStation 4 releasing November 15, 2013, then we will see that we could possibly be getting a release date for the PlayStation 5 the second week of November 2020. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions about that in those comments down below. I mean, it would actually make sense for marketing and, you know, give enough time for uh, grandma and grandpa, mom and dad, um, or even your significant other to go in and purchase a PlayStation 5 for Christmas time. Um, you know, <laughs> no, you, in, any time earlier than that, um, they could 
surprise us and release it in October, but I doubt that they would go away from their tradition and their typical cycle of things. So I'm throwing that out there and I'm calling it right now. Um, a lot of people are still speculating on the price of the PlayStation 5 and what I'm telling my close friends and family is, you know what? If you are planning on getting a PlayStation 5 on release, um, I don't see it going for anything cheaper than $600. With everything that they put inside of it, $600, um, they might still be losing money off of it. Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know, but $600 is a safe bet. <clears throat> and I'm telling everybody, like, if you are planning on getting the PlayStation 5 and at least getting a game and an extra controller, save up 800 bucks. That That is a lot of money. But that's what I'm telling all of my close friends to, to do. It's like, if you want it, make sure you have $800 saved up. Um, that's just my honest opinion, and I wanted to give it to you guys. Now, let's go ahead and talk about The Last of Us 2, because this is going to like hit a lot of people in the feels. It has been delayed. It has been delayed until spring 2020, which is not far off from when it was first um, going to be officially released I guess you could say because it was going to be released in in the beginning of 2020 now they're pushing the release to spring 2020 now here's the thing I'm all for giving game developers time to develop the game and perfect it and give us a good product because we don't want to see something that is not finished or you know has glitches and bugs and things like that that's something that we don't want um, another thing we don't want is to wait too long for a game it kind of kills off the momentum and it kind of kills off um, you know people's hype for the game when the game keeps getting delayed and delayed so I'm okay with uh, The Last of Us 2 releasing sometime in spring 2020. Um, I don't know if I'd be okay with it if it got delayed again. Am I going to buy it? Hell to the yeah, I'm going to buy it, but it, it, it's just frustrating as a gamer, to be completely honest with you guys. By the way, really quickly, I'm still sick and under the weather, so if you guys hear me kind of like cough or sniffle or anything like that, that's the reason why. And this video is sponsored by tissues that get eaten up by my cat. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, there's no sponsors in this video today. I'm really picky with uh, the people that I work with, and <laughs> there's been a lot of like mumbo jumbo stuff going around. I'm like, no, I'm good. I don't. I don't need no sponsors. Um, but the sponsor today is actually Twitter.com forward slash Monkey Flop. He was kind enough to actually sponsor this video today. So make sure you guys go follow Monkey Flop at Monkey Flop on Twitter. Because I heard he's going to be doing a $10 PSN giveaway on Friday that you don't want to miss out on. So if you guys have Twitter, uh, even if you don't have Twitter, go create an account and follow him. He paid me a lot of money to say that. I'm not going to disclose how much money. <laughs> I drink a lot of, uh, you know, I, I, I drink a, a cup of Smart ASS today. Um, I don't have no more coffee, but... <laughs> Let's continue on. Next up, we got Bethesda, who has announced a premium subscription for Fallout 76. If you guys think I'm kidding, um, you know, I'm not. I'm being 100% real with you guys right now. Bethesda literally <laughs> announced that they have a $12 a month premium subscription, or you could pay for the entire year if you want, and it's going to cost you $99. 99 um, and with the subscription service you'll get access to private worlds and all kinds of cool things and <laughs> I don't know honestly sometimes with the games industry it's like it's kind of crazy because uh, you don't know if they're joking or if they're real and Bethesda was actually real with this and they did come out uh, with this subscription service and they announced it right after they announced a couple of days ago keep in mind they were going to have an update to the game where they have uh, real life NPCs in the game and um, that's being delayed for almost an entire year. So after they announced the delay of that update for Fallout 76, they decided to throw out, hey, we got a uh, premium subscription coming your way. 
for a hundred dollars a month the same price as what you would pay for a Netflix service this costs actually more than PlayStation Now and if you like put in perspective of like PlayStation Now PlayStation Now you have access to over 800 different games some of them are streamable only but you do also have access to download a lot of PlayStation 4 games that are on the service as well so Bethesda what are you thinking? And this better not be like an industry standard in the future where games get released and then they decide to put a premium subscription on top of it. This is something that us as gamers need to stand up for and we need to say hell to the no, we don't want this, we are not going to be paying for this. I'm honestly not sure how many people are currently playing Fallout 76. I know it's gotten better since the launch, but if we look back at the launch of Fallout 76, it wasn't what gamers really wanted from Fallout. Um, there is a lot of people still playing it to this day, but that number is kind of like unseen. I'm not sure how many people are still playing it to this day and how many people are still enjoying it. And on top of that, how many people are going to be paying $100 a year for this subscription service? It, it kind of seems outrageous to me um, to even fathom and think about. I wonder how many game developers are betting um, in the offices of Bethesda, like, um, how many people are betting like oh man this service is gonna do great and then the rest of the people are betting against it I, w I wonder how that's going how that conversation is going in the office Bethesda I love you you have been super supportive but with this you kind of dropped the ball in my opinion um, but then again I'd love to know your guys thoughts and opinions about Bethesda's premium subscription for Fallout 76 Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I can't believe I made it through the entire video without a cough, without, without coughing um, or having my nose run. Uh, it's been really hard um, to do videos and things like that. And I know I have slowed down a little bit, um, but we're, we're going to pick it back up right where we left off. And I'm going to be bringing you daily gaming news. So make sure you guys are subscribed with those bell notifications turned on. Check back at the channel every day um, and please follow me on social media uh, so that way you guys get the updates on when I release videos and, you know, other things like that. So thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.